Indonesia is preparing itself to participate in ASEAN Tourism Forum next year while keep maintaining more new tourism villages such as the one in Kulon Progo Regency in Yogyakarta, Widosari Village. Tourism and Creative Economy Minister Sandiaga Uno, who recently visited Widosari Tourism Village, was hoped that the village can become one of tourist destinations during ASEAN Tourism Forum 2023. Widozari Village's tourism was hit badly by COVID-19 pandemic and it just started to recover from the impact. Widozari Village is a hilly destination that offers scenic mountainous and panoramic views plus traditional Javanese traditions such as wayang, traditional dances and entertainments along with local culinary located in Kulon Progo, Yogyakarta. Next year, Yogyakarta will be the host of ASEAN Tourism Forum. Meanwhile, in East Nusa Tenggara, the Komodo National Park will begin to limit the number of tourists to better protection of the island's Komodo dragons and their ecosystem. Metro Globe Network's Audrey Wibo Widodo has the story. In Labuan Bajo, East Nusa Tenggara, Komodo Island is home to Indonesia's Komodo dragons. The island has become a popular tourist destination and is categorized as one of the world's natural heritage sites. However, head of the Komodo National Park office, Lukita Awang, explained that in the last 10 years, the number of visitors to the park has continuously increased, which in return has produced a negative impact on the environment and ecosystem of the island. Now the Indonesian Ministry of Environment and Forestry has set restrictions to limit the number of visitors to the Komodo Park. They have also set the entrance ticket price at 3,750,000 rupiah per person, about 233 US dollars, starting from the 1st of August this year. This effort intends to mitigate the negative impacts of tourist visits and preserve the Komodo dragon population on the Komodo Island and Padar Island, as well as maintain the safety of tourists and officers at the park. According to Awang, the ideal number of visitors to the Komodo Island should be 219,000. And for the Padar Island, it should be 39,420 people per year, or about 100 visitors a day. Tentunya dengan penerapan kebijakan kuota pengunjung tadi, dengan sistem digital tadi, tidak akan mengurangi akses maupun peluang pendapatan masyarakat setempat. Mereka tetap dapat beraktivitas dan diharapkan kegiatan wisata tetap berjalan dengan baik sehingga masyarakat akan mendapatkan dampak-dampak berupa pendapatan dan juga kelestarian ekosistem, kelestarian satwanya tetap terjaga. Not just the Ministry of Environment, but all parts of the Indonesian government support the limitation of visitors to the Komodo National Park. The head of the Department of Tourism, Creative Economy and Culture of the West Manggarai Regency, Bius Baut, said he is optimistic that the restrictions will have positive effects on the Komodo dragon's habitat preservation. This is also a moment for the government to build destinations in other Komodo. Jadi ketika terutama nasional komodo dibatasi, maka pertanyaannya wisatawan kita mau bawa kemana, ya kan? Atau ketika wisatawan itu antri, dia menunggu gilirannya ke TNK, maka kita bisa apa membawa wisatawan ke destinasi lain di selain terutama nasional komodo. Dan itu potensi itu ada. Currently, on average, the total number of tourists visiting Komodo Island and Padar Island has reached about 300 to 400,000 visitors per year, which has created negative impacts on the sustainability of the Komodo National Park's ecosystem and the livelihoods of the Komodo dragons.